Good evening, Internet. Welcome back to another night of Strange and Scary Games. Tonight, I'm going to be going through the Forgotten Tapes Analog Nightmares. Uh, this is in um, uh, a collection of nine games, uh, all centered around the themes of analog horror. Uh, they do this in different ways. Uh, I just finished playing through all nine of them. Um, so I'm going to throw you over to past Andrew and past Andrew will guide you through them. I'm not sure how many are going to be in each video. Um, so I'm going to cut those up and edit them. Uh, and then they will come out basically, uh, probably three or four videos until I'm done with them. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, and yeah. All right. On to the next one. Uh, the mine shaft. During a hunting trip on a snowy day, you and your friends split up and someone else starts talking through your walkie-talkie. This mysterious stranger needs help and takes you to an abandoned mine shaft. Uh, an innocent trip to the, an abandoned house ended with the discovery of the world's of worlds and secrets that he would rather never learn about. A seemingly ordinary camera playing seemingly ordinary recordings will reveal a reality that will change his perception of the world forever. Uh, that's a body. Do you want to comment on the body? Mr. Body? There's no body. No body in the study. Uh, I guess let's do this one. Godot. I love Godot. Subtitles on full screen on. Uh... Actually, don't remember what my what my screen resolution is. Oh, isn't this just fantastic? I think I'm lost. I knew splitting up wasn't a good idea. God. Did you find the clearance I mentioned? Well, I am in a clearance. I'm just not sure if it's the same one. Why don't you admit you're lost? Oh. <laughs> okay. Whatever, man. It was your idea to split up in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, see if you see a deer. I'm scared so you can go in my direction. Uh, I don't think that's how that works. Not to mention I have no idea which direction you're in. Also, I can't do anything since you took my rifle. Well, you know mine is harder to aim with. Yours is newer. Yeah, sure, that's great and all, but... I don't know, what if I come across... Uh, bear or something, huh? What What then? What am I gonna do? You'll be fine. My cousin's friend once told me that he punched bear in the face and ran away. Hello? You there? Hey, you there? Great. No radio signal. <sighs> I guess I can't expect much with this kind of weather. Nothing in there. Hmm. 
Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Uh, where am I going? This seems like a bad idea, but let's do it anyway. Hi there. Who are you? Whoa. This is way too dangerous. I'll definitely break something if I fall down there. Who just leaves this open like this? Hello, sir. Are you are are you in here? Yes, I'm here. How long have you been stuck down there? Quite a while. Jesus Christ! How did you even stand this cold for that long, sir? Well, I didn't use it to. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, this um, this this looks pretty dangerous. I don't think I can go down here. Rude. Hmm, I could jump over this if I really tried, but my back really fucking hurts from that fall. I think it'd be better to find something to help me cross it. How did you make this cave? This is really cool. Nothing there. Mm, I could jump over this if I really tried, but my back really fucking hurts from that fall. I think I'd better find something to help me cross it. Do you have a suggestion? Is there something that I could help you find? Axe is pretty rusty, but surprisingly, it's still quite sharp. Not there. What am I doing with the axe? So I scrolled up on the scroll wheel and it brought out the axe. Um, it'd be nice if it just was there and you didn't have to do anything with it. Bottle full of kerosene seems very old, but I think it's still flammable. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. The bottom rung is a little bit janky. Wow, this table has some pretty solid planks. Surprising to see a table be in such good shape in a place like this. I could use them for something if I took, uh, if I use a tool to break it apart. These are pretty heavy boards, but I'm sure I'll need them. I believe they just left things like uh, laying around like this. It's quite dangerous, but maybe I'll need it. Scene explosive board. There we go. Yeah, the interactables on some of the planks are a little bit janky. Damn it, it's blocked. But I can tell that the tunnel doesn't end here. If only I could blow this up. Do we have a lighter or anything? No, I just need to light it. That barrel had a face. Are there multiple endings? Can we go the other way? It's not snowing anymore. How long have I been down there? Shit. At least the weather got a bit better. Anyways, now I should be able to get some radio signal. Hey, uh, can you hear me? What the hell is wrong with you? I've been looking for you for hours. At this point, I was expecting to find your dead body or something. Okay, okay, all right, I'm sorry. Look, the, the radio signal just cut out, and I got lost, and there there was this guy, and he... Oh, God. Never, you know what? Never mind. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, where are you at? I'm in the car already. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, um, I am near, uh, the, uh, abandoned mine, uh, the, the mine shaft area. That, that's where I am. Oh, I know that place. I'll wait for you on the dirt road west of the mine exit. Um, I don't... I don't have a compass. I don't... I don't know if you know that or not. It is locked with a pretty old but strong looking padlock.
Headlights. We're in the car. Ooh. We made it. So wait, you really went into that mine? Why? That place is creepy as shit. <sighs> um, I, well, I, I was just passing by, you know, it sparked my interest, I guess. So, did you actually find anything interesting? Nope. <sighs> Nothing worth noting. Hmm. All right. Well, screw it. Let's go grab some food. <sighs> Yeah, I'm I'm fucking famished, man. Let's go get something to eat. Don't leave me here. The Mine Shaft, published by Bloody Volpine, created by Elegant Crow and DZ Nith. Um I liked the uh, the mine shaft. Like that was a really cool environment, um, especially for Godot. I, I know that it's difficult to make environments like that. Um, the cutting the planks with the board uh, was a little bit janky. Uh, I didn't realize that you had to scroll to uh, get through your inventory. I'd had to like kind of figure that out by my, my by myself. Um, it would have been nice if there was a thing saying uh, scroll or press the num buttons to to uh, go through your inventory. Um, was there multiple endings there? Is there a second ending there where like you go deeper into the mine and find the find the body or something like that? Um, it was very short. Uh, yeah. Um, at the end you had, or I think throughout the game, you had the, the date and time in the upper corner, uh, as if it were a video recording. Um, this one would have made more sense if it was a video recording, if the player character was recording the entire time, um, maybe you have like the, the date and time in the right upper right hand corner. And then, uh, 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 compass in the upper left hand corner um and he's got this camera and he's like exploring out in the woods here uh and he finds the mine shaft and he keeps picking up this ghost on the camera but he can't see it himself uh and then he gets pushed into the mine uh he finds his way out uh he keeps getting these images of the ghost on his camera uh, and then he gets into the car with his friend and he's like trying to show his friend, look, I got this ghost on camera. Uh, that might be a little bit more interesting than just him being like, oh, you're never going to believe me anyway. So why would I tell you the truth? Um, yeah, those are my thoughts. Good game so far. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that one. Um... Uh, I don't know if that's going to be the end of the video or not. So if it is, I will throw you over to future Andrew there and uh, future Andrew uh, will give you your outro. The other one, an innocent trip to an abandoned house ended with the discovery of worlds and secrets that he would rather never learn about. A seemingly ordinary camera playing seemingly ordinary recordings will reveal a reality that will change his perception of the world forever. Um... Was to ow. What happened? Where am I? My head feels like I've been knocked out. 
I think you were. It's a bad idea to explore this house. I need to get out of here. Picture of a woman. Alright. Dry as a bone. Even watering wouldn't help. It's an audio tape. Interesting. Same old, uh, some old damp books. Probably fall apart when I try to open them. Wardrobe, it's locked. Who locks a wardrobe with a padlock? Uh, I can't see what that is. It's too dark in here. I don't want to trip over something and break my head. Shit, locked. What the? This wasn't here. An old camera. And a tape. Tape assigned your way. What is it all about? There's no one here. Someone's playing with me? Well, I want her to check it out, right? That's kind of cool. We're playing a game within a game. So I'm not pressing anything for it to interact. If I, I think it, if I just uh, approach it, it does it by itself. Keep looking around the camera because I'm expecting there to be like a face or something. Like the um uh mortuary assistant. You're in doom. Hi there. What? Who put that here? Am I losing my mind? Eh, I don't like it. I'm gonna need this flashlight though. Better take it. F for flashlight. No reason carrying this camera around. I'll leave it on the table. Tape is signed outside the insides. It feels weird to watch them. It's like I wasn't just watching, but actually being there physically. There's a lot of noise and static, but you hear an excited woman's voice. It worked. One step away, bringing him so happy. Never in my life would I have thought, achieve it. Camera and tapes, dimensions. I would, crazy. Miraculously, it works. Chance, scientific discoveries, more tests. There's even more static and noise. When you thought this must be the end, you hear a clicking sound, and then the woman speaks again. But this time, she's clearly disturbed by something. Not him. A mistake. How could I... A good idea. Steal a dead beloved from an, another? It's not, it's not even close. About our world. Horrific and twisted counterparts. This thing. Abomination. Mimic a human. Some reason. Foolish. What I deserve. Follow me. I can't let this happen. Then the tape just stops. 
I'm assuming that uh, you just didn't have enough time to hire somebody. Box made of sturdy metal. It's locked. Wardrobe. It's locked. Door open. Flesh Pit National Park. You gotta be like right on top of it. running from something? Did not like that. There it goes. Did you see it moving in the background? Gives us a key. What was that? Now is this happening? Whenever I see certain things on those footages, they appear on the table. This key looks like something I've never seen before. This key is definitely not made from metal. It feels like it's pulsating. Crowbar. This might be useful. Another tape. This one is titled The Gate. That was a really good scare. I like that one. Oh no. Oh no, I've been sucked in. How do I even get out of here? What was that? Jesus Christ. It's a spooky jump scare mansion.
I hope this is the exit. Hurry. I woke up being all alone and the door was open, just like that. I still can't believe I managed to ex exit the house. Nothing and no one stopped me. The trauma of those events haunts me to this day. My friends didn't see the change in me at first, but you can't hide with your true emotions forever. You can't tell them, they won't believe me anyway. This is my burden, I have to carry it myself. The car was still there where I left it. It was time to go back. I'm afraid that I'll see this thing when I turn around, but when I do, it's never there. Although it's in my head it's still present, haunting me every time I hear a sudden noise or have a bad dream. I think this feeling will eventually go away, as well as my phobia of cameras. I mean, it will, right? the other one. I like that one a lot. Made exclusively for the Forgotten Tapes Analog Nightmares collection by Bloody Vulpine. Um, so the only like real criticism I have for that one is that I feel like it needed a frame. Um, so you could have like, uh, uh, the, the protagonist and somebody talking, um, and, uh, let's say that it's a girl and she's like, Hey, can I take your, your video or can I, I videotape you at the, the party? And he's like, I'm sorry, I'm afraid of videos. She's like, uh, why are you afraid of videos? And he's like, well, it all happened this one night. I was urban exploring. And then it fades into the, the uh, house. Um, I climbed in through the boards. They were spaced far enough that I could just slip in. Uh, but then as soon as I got inside, I felt something on the back of my head. Uh, and then he gets knocked out. Um, and then at the end, you have that, that monologue of like... Um, I'm hoping that one day I'll stop being afraid of, of video cameras. Um, but it, it hasn't happened yet. Um, so that way you have that framing device of like, well, I'm afraid of video cameras and here's why. Um, and that's really the only stylistic criticism that I would give. Uh, the scares were pretty good. Um, they were simple, but effective. Um, the, first tape i was waiting the entire time for like something to pass by uh and then in the second tape it actually did and i, I was like that's really good um it was very subtle but also very effective and i enjoyed that yeah good job did we do all the games we did that one did that one we saw the body we did that one we did that one and we did that one all right let's move on Um, consume an eerie emergency broadcast that goes through the house, but all is quiet. Where did everyone go? Reports of violence and strange behavior among individuals are affecting your local area. Not everything is as it seems.
Directed by Aaron Wise. Um, I've tried playing a couple Aaron Wise games on the um, the YouTube channel. Um, After Hours, The Patient, and another one. Uh, After Hours, The Patient, I couldn't get through the, the introduction. It just locked up. Um, there it is. Uh, I couldn't get through the introduction. It just locked up. Um, and then there was another game that wouldn't open. So um, I'd like to play more Aaron Wise games. I just need to get them working. I really thought that that glare on the left side of the screen was on my actual monitor and not on the, um, the game. That's a really good effect. We can sprint. Fifty coins. The fridge is red. Uh, that's the head that was in the fridge. Press number one key to equip or unequip the pistol. Right mouse to aim. Eh. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. There it goes. Uh, I'm out of ammo, I think. Yeah. Plus five bullets. It's a Nintendo sixty four. Consume. Is there any way to see our bullet count? Move car, 50 coins. Okay. Five bullets. Biggest jump scare I've had tonight. Oh, so there's a invisible stamina. I was wondering why he wasn't running. I wonder if that might be better. 
initial reports suggest that the hunger can be consumed in a variety of ways, including a powder, a pill, or even through drops placed into the eyes. The side effects of the hunger are severe and can include extreme weight loss, psychosis, extreme hunger and cravings for flesh, and even death. Those who have been exposed or consumed the hunger have been noted to engage in cannibalistic behavior. It is believed to be distributed through an underground network, and may also be disguised as a legitimate product. We ask all citizens to be vigilant and report any and all persons who are exhibiting these signs to the local authorities. Including anyone who you believe may be distributing the hunger. Do not consume any unknown substances, and if exposed, please seek medical attention immediately. If you or anyone else you know has consumed the hunger, our prayers are with you. Uh, hello? They're no longer dying? That seems inconvenient. Uh, am I out of bullets? I think I'm out of bullets. I don't know what's happening anymore. I can't reload. Yeah, I, I think that I am dead. Right, go ahead and kill me. Game over. Uh, select and zoom. Uh, you, you misspelled right mouse. Lost in Rome. Man and his woman. Time to die. Say what you want. Battle until death. Death court three. person really likes death court three eyes wide open pain away bloody axe Fridge is empty. Robocop, Mortal Kombat, Rambo, Terminator, I think, uh, Jean Claude Van Damme, not sure. I think that's all of them. And then a couple cars. Why are we inspecting the pan? You just want to show me it's rusty? Spaghetti and meatballs and a gallon of milk. Well, not a gallon, but a half gallon. Oak stout. Oak stout. 
Rattlers. I'm assuming that you made that yourself and you just wanted to show me. Uh, that's a lot of blood. This is where we started. Is that a pregnancy test? Not pregnant? Did we kill our wife because she's not pregnant? Seems counterproductive. Why do we have two of these? Thought it was raining inside for a second. I was like, that is not good. Puzzle. Andrew Toxic. Seems like we might have killed her daughter. Or, or maybe we're Lizzie Borden? Are we Lizzie Borden? Ask Clarice to return my favorite shirt. I need it soon. Green, yellow, blue. Green, blue, red. I don't know what to do about that puzzle. Is there a door over here? Doesn't even have a prompt for it. Strange. This door was locked, right? Yeah. All right, so I am at the limit of what I know. I was thinking that we would go into the laundry and find the favorite shirt, and then that would be Steve Queen, and then that would be the um, 
the answer to the puzzle, but I don't see how we're supposed to do that. That was a weird puzzle. So you had collars on it, so I assumed that it was going to be a color puzzle, but it was a sound puzzle. That's a closet. this. Why? What, what's happening? this does anything. Oh my god. Escape doesn't do anything either. Why? Why are you guys doing that? Press escape is... It should bring up the options menu. Okay, P is the... in here even though it's in the other room. Okay, there we go. Hi there. And disappear. Doesn't look like we can do anything. Bedroom key. Is that up here? Is that downstairs?
Is that in the laundry room? I... Your, your sound cues are not leading me to where this phone is. Okay, then. Uh, why isn't there an actual phone? Jane, these past few months have been incredible, getting to know you and Charlotte. It's been something I never thought I could experience. I know the situation you are in right now is difficult, but maybe... Maybe that's why you decided to, uh, you needed out of there. Even so, I can't help but think that I am the means, I am a means to an end. The fact that you are married does weigh heavy on me. I love you, I do, but I can't in, in all good faith tell you to leave him for me. What do we do now? I think you should, uh, think about what you really want and decide from there. Think about Charlotte, what she needs and wants. I'm always here, to the moon and back. What am I trying to find here? Well, there's a phone. Is that just lotion? Clean shampoo. That's a weird shadow. If there are many more.
I mean, I'm honestly under the impression that we're the violent individual in this uh, situation. Are we just following the footsteps? Is the mirror just a window into the living room? leather face mask. Right now, where are we going? I'm just walking around until I find the next thing. I'm not sure what the game wants from me. Woke up to mommy and daddy fighting again. I don't like it. Chris keeps telling me to hide in my room, but I'm too scared. I heard daddy hit mom quite hard. I think I heard her fall down the stairs. Daddy got angry and came into my room and started to shout. I had to tidy my room because it's always messy. Left the, I left the key to my hiding spot, but I won't say where. It is right where it always is. I can hear mommy crying in the bathroom now. Daddy has left to try and get her. I wish Chris was right here right when I need him. Okay, so this needs to be over on, like, the bed or something, because I did not see that when I came through here the first time. So, this is lit up, so you could put the diary right here. This is lit up, so you can put the diary right here. I just thought that this was just uh, some flavor. I didn't see it at all.
There we go. Okay. Basement is open. I don't really know how to start this letter, so I will just say how it, uh, I will just say it how it comes. I'm pregnant. The baby is yours. You are the only person I've been with in a long time. I'm done with messing around and want to be with you. Only you. Always you. Charlotte adores you. You treat us right. What more could I ask for? I need to be careful until I'm ready to leave him, though. You know how violent he can be. I just pray he doesn't find out before then, although I believe he may have his suspicions. I'll try to meet you again at our usual place at the usual time. I need to see you and can't wait to plan the rest of our life together. I can hear him stomping around the house. Well, that didn't work out. Consume. Uh, created by Aaron Weiss, part of the Forgotten Tapes Analog Nightmares Collection. Logic modeling animations, Aaron Weiss. Additional models project provided by Epic Games. Quixel and Mega Scans and something. All right. Uh, resume. All right. Um, I liked the in the game out of the game uh thing that was really cool i think i had suggested that on a, a different game in this collection uh where there's the in game and there's the out game uh so it was really cool uh to be able to like see that put into practice um the video game that we start off playing is a little bit weird because it doesn't have an over uh in it, interface user interface uh so there's like um bullets that you pick up but eventually they just stop working even though i know that i have them um and then stamina there's no stamina bar so i just kind of ran out of stamina and was like okay i guess i've got to wait for that to come back um and then uh the health there was no health bar so i was like well i guess i'll just wait until um we die uh, so it was just a little bit weird. Um, it is a, a, a little bit weird that the game ends with you having to die. It's not like you get overwhelmed with the zombies. It's just like, well, you, you don't have the resources to go on. Um, so it's weird that the game within the game is like that. Uh, if it were like a proper game within a game where you just like uh, the doom ending where you get um, overwhelmed by enemies and they eventually just knock you down, um, that would be better, I think. Um the house section was really good. Um, it looked really pretty. Uh, it didn't 
run very well. There was a lot of like stutters and uh, kind of uh, blurring, um, but the the story was good um, and it made sense like what was happening. Uh, the only thing is that after finding the door in the closet and then coming out of the bathroom uh, where the leather face mask is, I had no idea where to go. Um, I had already opened the fridge earlier and there was nothing in there. Um, so I didn't realize that I had to open it again. Um, if you're going to do that, maybe have the, the refrigerator locked until after that segment so that when the, the player goes and um, is trying different things, the elevator opens all of a sudden. Or maybe have it open when the player comes down like you do with the, the basement door. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, there were a couple points where like, um, like the laundry door, laundry door didn't have a prompt on it. Uh, but once we got the key for it, it was open. Um, I think that it would be better if like you had the laundry key open the laundry door. Um, and then, uh, the cupboard key that's for a closet, a closet in the upstairs bedroom, um, so I was looking around the, the, um, the kitchen looking for a cupboard and I couldn't find it. Um, uh, closet key would be better, uh, naming convention for that one. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be the end of the video. If it is, I will throw you over to future Andrew and, uh, future Andrew can give you the, the, uh, um, sign off. Uh, but I am going to cut the recording there because I'm going to go get dinner and I'm going to go see my girlfriend. So, um, you all have a good night. Hey guys, this is future Andrew. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed the, um, the forgotten tapes, analog nightmares. Uh, I'm going to go through and cut them up now. So I don't know how many video videos this is going to be, but if you are someone who has watched through from start to finish, thank you for sticking it out. Um, yeah, thank you as always for joining me for another night of Strange and Scary Games. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Good night.